WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. It was a chilly morning across the mid-Atlantic. We saw 30s all the way down to the Virginia, North Carolina line, even parts of northern North Carolina. 30s and 40s fairly common across the state of Maryland. Only exceptions if you're right near the bay or the coast, like Norfolk checked in at 53 degrees, a little bit warmer than inland locations, but uh, 34 out at Oakland, 45 degrees, Charlottesville, Virginia. 37, as I mentioned, down at Danville, Virginia, Bristol at 36 degrees, 38 at PWI Marshall, a little on the chilly side. We did manage with some sunshine, however, to reach the upper 50s to around 60 this afternoon, and it's still 61 in Annapolis and over at Easton at this hour. A little cooler, low 50s to the north and 40s out in far western Maryland. And the breeze has been rather pesky and persistent, still gusting over 20 miles an hour in many locations. That's made those 50s to near 60 degree temperatures feel a little bit chillier, but tonight the skies clear, the winds calm down, and the stage is set for maybe the coldest temperatures of the season so far. Chance of it at least if the winds can get down to under five miles an hour. There are freeze warnings out across our northern tier, including Cecil County, northern Harford, Baltimore, Carroll, and Frederick counties up into southern PA, and then frost advisories where you may not see the actual air temperature get to 32 where the thermometer sits, but just below the thermometer on the leaves and things like the vegetation, you might get some near freezing temperatures and frost is possible south of Baltimore down onto the lower eastern shore. All of that to say the growing season may well completely end tonight with this area of high pressure, which is pressing toward New England. It'll pass north of us, not right over the top of us, but close enough to diminish the winds and keep the skies clear, setting the stage for that chilly morning. Then we'll look to the west as this uh, weather system producing clouds and showers in the upper Midwest inches our way and it looks like on Thursday that'll bring us a chance for rain. Tomorrow as it's making its way through the Great Lakes this could cause some problems for the World Series in Northern Ohio. The potential is there for some showers tomorrow night. They got great weather in Cleveland tonight for the uh, first game of the World Series but you notice the showers up there from late tomorrow into Thursday. As that system is encountering the chill over the Northeast the mixed bag of rain sleet and snow Poconos up into the Catskills in New York Northeast PA, southern New York could get into a wintry mix there Thursday morning. We'll be much milder on the south side of the system, so clouds in the morning, a chance for an afternoon shower on Thursday, and then that should scoot off the coast and usher in some dry weather going into the first part of the weekend. So our forecast for tonight is just cold, frost and freeze possible, clear skies, lighter winds, 31 northern suburbs, 39 downtown. Tomorrow, a partly cloudy sky, a light northerly breeze, and high temperatures 54 to 59 degrees. So winds on the bay will be lighter coming out of the north at just 5 to 10 knots and waves around a foot. The western Maryland mountains, cold days will gradually moderate to 54 with showers on Thursday. Eastern shore tomorrow after a chilly morning, we get to 55 and then hit the 60s with some showers on Thursday. And at the beach around Ocean City, 55 tomorrow, scattered showers Thursday. Seven day forecast for Baltimore. 50s for highs on Wednesday, Thursday, back to 60 Friday. And look at the warm up for the weekend. Upper 60s on Saturday and maybe mid 70s on Sunday.